everybody out in Syrup World. Pete here again at CDL Wisconsin or Sugarbush. Sugar Bush. Uh, we had our open house last week and I was just wanted to get on here and say thanks, but I was going to do it Monday, but she's a busy week. Um, so it took us a little longer in the week to get this done. I want to thank everybody for coming. We had a good four days. We have 1,500 to 1,700 people come through in the four days. Uh, we have lots of seminars. They have free lunch. Everybody that came knows the program. Uh, we have sales on items in the store. Uh, it's good to see everybody. We appreciate you guys coming and uh, coming to see us. A lot of you guys I only see once a year, but it's still good to see you. So that's going on. Um, it's getting warm out. Everybody's getting anxious to make syrup. I know some of the, the guys are making syrup already out there. They're boiling. Southern Wisconsin, southern states are all boiling. Some in Michigan are boiling. Um, if you're out in the open and it's warm like this, it's going to be warm here this weekend and the first part of next week here, um, you'll make a little bit of syrup. A lot of the big guys are waiting some here. They're not ready, basically. I'm not ready, but I'm never ready until the day it comes. Uh, and then I'm lucky if I'm ready then. But some guys are still getting ready, but the season's coming. But I've got a feeling we got a little more winter coming. So we'll see how that turns out. Online, I'm seeing lots and lots of discussions about how to read a hydrometer, a refractometer, all that kind of stuff. On a hydrometer here, the ones we sell, and we sell thousands of them, it's, this one has a Balm A scale and a brick scale on it. You see these two red lines? I don't know if you can see them in the video. By the red lines, it says hot test, cold test. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hot test is basically when the syrup's boiling. It says 211, but the difference is so minute that we just say when syrup's boiling. And the other one's at 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So when you put your hydrometer into the uh, vessel of syrup, like a hydrometer cup, we sell, they're right next to these on the website. When that floats, if the hydrometer, to say my thumb is uh, syrup, if it floats like this, it's too thin. And as the syrup gets thicker, it'll keep rising. And when the, the level of the syrup is at the red line, well, it's hot at the hot test, which is 32 on the Balm A scale and 59 on the brick scale. Uh, yep, 59. Um, that's when your syrup is done. But you got to remember, once you draw it off and put it in a pail and move it around a little bit, it's going to steam. And if you reheat it to bottle it, it's going to steam some more. So that's when it'll start getting thicker. And if you get it too thick, it'll get candy in the bottom of your bottles. So the rock hard white clear crystal candy. Um, you'll see that in bottles once in a while. That means it's too thick. So you went too far. Hydrometers are a good reference point. Um, if you want one that's certified and tested, we send about 2,000 of them a year to the state of Vermont and they test them, certify them. And a certified refract or hydrometer will be stamped on the, right on the hydrometer. Vermont State tested on it. So if you want one that you know is 100% accurate, buy the Vermont tested one. They're, gonna, they're on our website. Um, they're going to be $24.95 on the website. They're also on Tap My Trees website, the Vermont certified ones. They're, they're the exact same hydrometer but the ones that are tested have been sent to the state of Vermont to be tested and sent back to us so you can do that that's one way of doing it this is a refractometer this one's for SERP they make ones for SAP um, the SAP ones are 0 to 10 and then we have some that are 0 to 18 uh, a SERP one is 45 to 82 you can buy them that go from zero all the way to 82. I don't like selling them because the numbers are so close together that they're hard to tell if you're at 66 or 67 or 65 because 
the scale is so tight that there's very little distance in between the numbers that it's hard to really define what you're reading. So that's why I sell two versions of it. I sell one for SAP, one for SERP. Um, we're starting to carry the 0 to 32s for the guys with the big ROs that want to go into the mid-20s or 30 with their concentrate. Uh, but the majority of them are 0 to 10 or 0 to 18. So we sell them like that. They're $69.95. What you want to look for, like on this one here, I don't know if you can see it, it says ATC. That's Automatic Temperature Compensated Refractometer. So when you put a drop of SERP on here, you put a drop on your lens in the little bottle, you get one of these in here, you put a drop on here, you shut your cover, hold it down tight, and when you look through it, you'll see where clear and blue meets. What the line that's on is what your SERP is. So if the clear and blue meet at 66, you've got SERP. If it's at 59 on here, you don't have SERP. Or if you got 68, you're too thick. You get the drift. But they're, the ones we carry are auto temperature compensating ones. These sell for $69.95. So they're way cheaper than they used to be years ago. Um, they're easy to use. There's no reading temperature, looking on a scale, figuring out what your hydrometer should be. You know, they're half the price of some of the stuff, testing equipment out there where you got to take the temperature, convert it, see what the hydrometer should read. This will do it for you. They're real simple, basic. You can order a calibration kit with it. If you want to check it and double check it, make sure it's right is they sell a little bottle of solution. It's on our website, buy it. That is laboratory made solution and they know it's 66 bricks. So if it says 66 on the bottle, you put a drop on here, you get it down so you can read it, and it says 66, you know you're on. If it doesn't match, say this says 68 and the solution, calibrate solution 66, there's a little screwdriver in your kit in here trust me it's in there you pop this little black cover off and there's a screw under there you turn the dial to it says 66 and it'll read uh, it'll be accurate put another drop on if you want recheck it again if it reads 66 you're good put your cover back on put your screwdriver away that's for SERP all right for sap you put a little bit of distilled water on it and it should read zero, right exactly zero. And then you adjust it the same way, you turn it up and down. Um, just make sure you know if you got a SERP one or SAP one, because some guys use calibra calibration solution on the SAP one, well you can't turn the screw far enough to get where you need to go. So just make sure SAP, does some distilled water to zero, SERP one, the 45 to 82, calibration solution 66, put it on there, Give it a second to acclimate the temperature, then read it, adjust your screw a little bit. Just go gentle, turn it a little bit, calibrate it. It's real straightforward. If you got an older model um, that you're, you're not sure of, just buy a little bottle of calibration solution and calibrate your refractometers. Um, that's kind of the, the gist of them. Guys with digital refractometers, they'll read from zero to in the 80s depending on which model you got. What goes wrong with them is when you put your SERP on that lens and you hit the button, then wait five, 10 seconds and hit the button again, you'll see it change. It may read, like with SAP, it may read, say 2.5, then it may be 2.3, then 2.1. Once you get three consecutive readings that match, then you know you have an accurate reading. What's going on is the liquid you're putting on it and the lens are becoming the same temperature. And once they're the same temperature, you'll get an accurate reading. If you just put SAP or SERP on there and hit the button once and say, yep, I got 66 and walk away, you're not gonna have an accurate reading. You need to let it acclimate so they're the same. And then get three consecutive readings and then you know you're good. Um, all these clean up with a little bit of hot water and a paper towel.
clean it off so every time you got a clean lens to go with um, if you don't clean it off you may have some sugar left from whatever you did previously and you won't be accurate but just take I just take hot water and a paper towel and wipe them off get them off good you don't want to submerge them in water I've dropped one in the draw off tank they don't survive that very good um, so <laughs> I've done all the same stuff same with a hydrometer if you're going to use it the hydrometer cups i should add one here are made with a hook on the bottom you can hook them to your draw off box or on a, the side of your machine where it stays warm this glass stays warm if you take this out of your truck when it's 25 degrees and drop it in 215 degree syrup without warming it up it's going to crack and i'm not sure what's in the bottom i get asked that a hundred times i don't know what that is but i'm sure it's not good for you but so you want to keep these warm too run a little hot water over them clean them up you know you don't want sugar hanging on here because that'll affect the weight of it um a lot of guys when they get them they'll lay them in the box and they'll mark where the paper is on each end so over the years if your paper moves you know if something happens and that paper slides you can look in the box and then if the lines don't match up you know your paper slid in here it's not supposed to do that but I've seen it do that and that'll throw your reading off so when you get it new in the container it comes with when it sits in there normally just mark the top of the paper if you want you can mark top bottom whatever you want to do but then every year you look at that and if it's all in the same spot you're good but if it slides you'll notice well that ain't lining up something ain't right I better get a new hydrometer so there's little things like that that'll make your life easier but for $69.95, that's a good price on a refractometer. Back 20 years ago when they came out, they used to be two, three hundred bucks on it. But it's like everything else, there, you know, more of a multer and more stuff, their price is getting better. So there's instructions in there uh, that all comes with it. But if you want to stick to a hydro uh, hydrometer, and you want a certified one, get the Vermont certified. Otherwise, these are available too they're a little cheaper um so there's some options for you so you guys have fun make syrup uh we'll see how the season goes i'll check in in a week or so with you thanks guys be safe out there.